Welcome to the Philippines Premier Motor Show. This is Autofocus. I'm Ray Louis Gamboa. Here are our features on this edition for Electronic Magazine, exclusive to the automobile and its industry. Starting off with reviews of two vehicle models presently in the local market, a compact sedan from Toyota, the Corolla Altis 1.6 V GRS CVT, and compact SUV from GAC, the GS4 1.5T GDI, plus a feature-to-feature -feature comparison of two hatchbacks, the Suzuki Celario 1L AGS versus Toyota Wego 1L TRD SAT. On Autopedia, we'll talk about a vehicle shock absorbers, and together with the latest news and developments of the local auto industry, we shall have the highlights of Enzo Auto Care as our special feature. The next 60 minutes is all about the automobile. This is Autofocus, and we'll be right back after your short break. Ambition. It's not a destination, nor a finish line. It's what you keep racing towards, to push, to the extremes. To race, race, race. That's when you find the limit. That's our ambition. So you too can race yours. Welcome back to Autofocus, the automobile show. We start this edition for Electronic Magazine with a review of one of the latest automobile models from Toyota. Toyota Motor Philippines has been adding GRS variants to its local lineup of models. Car G checks out one of these top of the line variants, the Toyota Corolla Altis GR Sport. Participation in motorsports plays an important role in Toyota's process for developing what it calls even better cars. And that is mainly done through Toyota Gazoo Racing, a Japanese car maker's global brand for performance cars and motorsports. Toyota has taken to rolling out cars with the GRS tag as the top of the line or flagship variants for each of its models. Already, Toyota Motor Philippines has an extensive GRS lineup of vehicles from the Vios to the Hilux, the Fortuner, the Rush, the Corolla Altis, and the Cross. So it comes to the GRS tag. Let's take a look at the Toyota Altis GRS. The Toyota Corolla Altis is 4,630mm long, 1,780mm wide, and 1,435mm tall, with a 2,700mm long wheelbase. In GRS guys, the Corolla Altis certainly looks racier with a new front grille with a honeycomb insert and bumper with high gloss black elements. The side mirrors also get high gloss black treatment, from the side, the Altis GR Sport definitely looks more racy with a new, more aggressive looking side skirt. Also distinguishing the Altis GRS from its brethren is the two-tone 17-inch alloy wheel strapped by 45 series tires. The rear also looks sportier with a diffuser built into the rear bumper. Of course, it comes with the Gazoo Racing Badge on the trunk. The Altis GR Sport retains much of the exterior features found in the Altis 1.6 V CVT, including the bi-beam LED headlamps with manual leveling, LED daytime running lights with line guide, LED front fog lamps, rear window defogger, full LED rear combination lamps, chrome outside door handle, printed rear glass antenna. The 
off this GR Sport cabin also feels a lot more sporty with the combination leather and suede upholstery with red stitching for the seats. Red stitching is also seen on the leather wrapped steering wheel and the padded center armrest. This is also complemented by the red accents of the inner door handles. Like the Altus 1.6V, the Altus GR Sport also comes with 8 way power adjusting driver's seat with lumbar support, 4 way manual adjusting front passenger seat, rear seats that come with center armrest, and adjustable headrest. Also present are 7 inch multi information color display, tilt and telescopic steering wheel with the multi function switches and controls, electronic parking brake auto-dimming rear-view mirror, rear sunshade. Comfort and convenient features in the Altus GR Sport include, among others, smart keyless entry with push-button start-stop, automatic climate control with rear vents, power folding side mirrors, rain-sensing wipers, power windows and speed-sensing door locks, auto-light control, 12-volt socket. The Altus GRS infotainment system features an 8-inch touchscreen display with Apple CarPlay, Android Auto, and Smart Device Link, Miracast, AM, FM radio, Bluetooth, and USB port, and plays through 4 speakers and 2 tweeters. The Corolla Altis 1.6 GRS is powered by Toyota's 1ZRFE engine, an inline 4 with dual VVTi, DOHC, and 16 valves that generate 121 horsepower at 6,000 rpm and 153 Nm of torque at 5,200 rpm. This is made into a CVT gearbox driving the front wheels. The GRS drives and rides comfortably on a suspension system that features front McPherson struts with stabilizer and rear double wishbones with stabilizer. Confident stopping power comes from an all-wheel disc brake system, ventilated in front and solid in the rear. Toyota rolled out the Altus GRS with Toyota Safety Sense, a suite of driver assist features that include pre-collision system, automatic high beam, lane tracing assist, lane departure alert, and dynamic radar cruise control. The Altus GRS also comes with front and rear proximity sensors, a rear parking camera, as well as blind spot indicators. Also equipped for safety and security of driver, passenger side, curtain shield, and knee airbags anti-lock brake system with electronic brake force distribution, vehicle stability control, hill start assist, 3-point ELR seat belts for 5, child restraint system with teether anchors and ISO fix, Toyota vehicle security system with alarm and immobilizer. There's a lot more to like in the Toyota Corolla Altis GR Sport, now the flagship variant of an already well-appointed compact sedan. The latest auto industry news and developments, right after this break. Ambition. It's not a destination, nor a finish line. It's what you keep racing towards, to push, to the extremes, to race, race, race. That's when you find the limit. That's our ambition, so you too can race yours. Welcome back to Autofocus. We now have the latest auto industry news. Over three whole days, the Clark International Speedway was a beehive of activity as Toyota Motor Philippines hosted the first ever Toyota Gazoo Racing Festival. Over 180 team members from Toyota's dealer network as well as invited members of media underwent hands-on training from Toyota Gazoo Racing Academy race car champions. Track activities included braking exercises, time slaloms, quarter mile time laps, follow the leader drills. According to TMP President Atsuhiro Okamoto, the Gazoo Racing Festival is fueled by a shared love for cars, passion for the thrill, and joy of driving, as well as the goal to promote motorsports in the country. 
Costco event of Toyota Batintawak says the first-hand experience of driving GR models at track will make it easier to communicate their fun-to-drive character to clients. Okamoto revealed plans to stage similar activities that will be open to the public. During the festival, Toyota also previewed the latest addition to TFP's growing GR car lineup, the all-new Toyota GR86, which is now available for pre-order at GR Performance dealerships. After successful stagings in Cebu and Davao, the Reimagine Your Ride Test Drive Tour returns to Luzon. First stop for the return of the experiential tour is at SM Santa Rosa held from August 12 to 14. The next stop is at SM City San Fernando on August 26 to 28. The Reimagine Your Ride Tour showcases the Mitsubishi slide up that includes the Mirage G4, L300, Montero Sport, Strata Athlete, and New Expander. The tour gives people the chance to try out the handling and capabilities of Mitsubishi vehicles on a track that simulates real-life scenarios and road-like conditions. Isuzu Philippines Corporation and Isuzu Isabella partnered to deliver relief goods for victims of the massive earthquake that hit Abaral recently. A team led by Emel de Bernas, IPC Administration Division Head, Robert Carlos, IPC Sales Assistant Division Head, and Isuzu Isabella Operations Manager Antonio Benito Butch Mijares traveled to Banguet Abra to deliver food, water, and hygiene kits for 250 families at an evacuation center. IPC and Isuzu Isabella organized a relief operation in partnership with the Abra Provincial Disaster Risk Reduction and Management Office to extend aid to families displaced by the Magnitude 7 earthquake. Access Philippines is offering huge cash discounts on the G50 Compact MPV that effectively makes it available at pre-2022 pricing. Until the end of September, the Maxxis G50 1.5 AT Pro is offered at a net suggested retail price of 1,076,000 pesos, the G50 1.5 AT Elite at 1,156,000 pesos, and the G50 1.5 AT Premium at 1,288,000 pesos. Maxxis is also offering a 180,000 peso discount for the G10 Elite for a net SRP of 1,710,000 pesos, a 240,000 pesos discount for the V80 Comfort 13-seater 2.5 MT van for a net SRP of 1,430,000 pesos, a 30,000 peso discount for the V80 Transport 18-seater for a net SRP of 1,258,000 pesos, another 30,000 peso discount for the V80 Transport 15-seater for a net SRP of 1,248,000 pesos, and a discount of 150. 50,000 pesos for the V80 Flex or a net SRP of 1,040,000 pesos. Respective discounts result in a net SRP of 1,278,000 pesos for the T60 2.8 AT Elite 4x4 pickup, 1,028,000 pesos for the T60 2.8 AT Pro 4x2, 948,000 pesos for the T60 2.8 MT Pro 4x2, 1,136,000 pesos for the D60 1.5 AT Pro SUV, and 1,258,000 for the D60 1.5 AT Elite, and 1,818,000 for the D90 2.0 AT 4x2 Premium SUV. Those are the latest news and developments in the automotive industry. We shall take another short break. Stay with us. I'll be right back. Ambition. It's not a destination, nor a finish line. It's what you keep racing towards, to push the extremes, to race, race, race. That's when you find the limit. That's our ambition, so you too can race yours. Isuzu D-Max into new heights. Welcome back to Autofocus, the country's premier automobile news and features electronic magazine. Here's our comparison of the latest automobile models 
belong to the same category on head to head. This edition of head to head pits the Suzuki Celerio 1L AGS against the Toyota Wego 1L TRDS in a spec to spec comparison. Many hatchbacks are great entry-level vehicles, especially for first-time owners. They can be practical, utilitarian, and easy to drive. They can also be economical, reliable, and fun. Two good examples of Japanese brand mini hatchbacks are the Suzuki Celerio 1L GL AGS and the Toyota Wego 1L TRDS AT. The Suzuki Celerio GL AGS is 3,695mm long, 1,655mm wide, and 1,555mm tall with a minimum ground clearance of 170 millimeters and 2,435 millimeters long wheelbase. The Toyota Wego 1.0 TRD AT is 3,700 millimeters long, 1,600 millimeters wide, and 1,520 millimeters tall, with a minimum ground clearance of 180 millimeters. The new Celeric steer features a black oval grille with single band of chrome flanking the Suzuki badge multi-reflector halogen headlamps, body color bumper, fog lamps, LED combination lamps, and reflectors on the rear bumper. It rides on 15-inch black alloy wheels wrapped by 175-60 R15 tires. Other exterior features include two-speed intermittent front wipers with washer, rear one-speed wipers with washer, body-colored outside mirrors that power just an antenna-mounted on front roof. The Toyota Wego 1.0 TRD AT features TRD Aero kit that includes front spoiler, side and rear skirts, two-tone rear spoilers, TRDS decaling badge, as well as a 14-inch machine-cut design alloy wheels wrapped by 17565R14 tires. It also comes with projector-type headlamps, line-guide type clearance lamp, front fog lamps, rear combination lamps with LED brake lamps, high-mount LED stop lamp integrated into the rear spoiler, side mirrors with integrated turn signal lights at power adjust and fold. The all-new Celero GL has a roomy interior which can sit five adults comfortably. The seats are upholstered in fabric. The front passenger and driver seats manually adjust four ways. The rear bench seat can be folded 60-40 to add to the 295 liters of cargo space in the rear. The dash features a large analog speedometer and a small digital tachometer. It comes with a three-spoke tiltable steering wheel with controls for the audio system and electric power steering, drink holders in the front console tray and all four doors, 12-watt accessory socket, manual air conditioning system, and pollen filter. Convenience features include remote control door locks with hazard lamp, central door locking with the switches on the center console, and power windows in front and rear. The Wego TRDS comes in keyless entry and push button start. The top of the line Wego is equipped with power windows and door locks, air conditioning with LCD control panel, controls for the audio system on the three spoke steering wheel, dashboard camera with digital video recorder, back camera, and rear sonar. The all-new Celerio GL infotainment system features a 6.2-inch touchscreen audio unit with an anti-glare touchscreen, WebLink 2.0, Bluetooth and USB connectivity, and placed through speakers on the front and rear doors. The Wego TRD infotainment system features a touchscreen display, Apple CarPlay, and Android Audio compatibility, AM FM radio, auxiliary and USB ports, as well as Bluetooth and voice command function. The all-new Celerio GL AGS is powered by a 1.0-liter K10C dual-jet engine that generates 67 horsepower and 89 Nm of torque. This is made into an auto-gear shift system featuring intelligent shift control actuator that automatically operates the shift and clutch to bring convenience to manual driving. The Celerio suspension system features McPherson struts in front and torsion beam in the rear. The brake system uses ventilated discs in front and leading trailing jumps in the rear. The Wego TRD is powered by 998cc 3-cylinder 12-valve engine with double overhead cam and VVTi that generates 66 PS at 6,000 RPM and 89 Nm of torque at 44,000 RPM. A 4-speed automatic transmission sends power and torque to the front wheels. The Wego suspension features McPherson struts at front and torsion beam axle in the rear. The brake system uses front ventilated disc and rear drums. The only Celerio AGS comes standard with the anti-lock brake system, electronic stability program, hill hold control, and engine auto stop start. Celerio safety features include 3-point ELR seat bus for 4, a center lap belt in the rear seat, isofix child seat anchorages, child seat teethers, child-proof rear door locks, dual front airbags, rear parking sensors, and immobilizer. The Wego comes standard with back sonar, dual airbags, and 3-point ELR seat belts, and ABS with the TRD also getting a back camera, an anti-theft system with immobilizer and alarm.
The Celerio and the Wigo are great practical hatchbacks with good value with some cool features. Suzuki El Tiga. Life is beating fast. Find what you're waiting for. Seven seater in style. It's fine dining, a romantic garden wedding, a relaxed casual meal, or an important business event, Illustrado is the place to go. Aside from its famed paella, the Illustrado restaurant, which is located within the history-laden walled city of Intramuros, is also the favorite destination of food gourmands for its famous calios and lengua and other classic gustatory offerings. Illustrado restaurant, only for the foodies. Promise is not always easy to keep, but when it is to the ones you love, it's unbreakable. For all your unbreakable promises, Ford Everest. Motul is the most trusted motor oil of the top teams competing in some of the world's most grueling race competitions. The WRC, the WTCC, and the Japan GT. Motul is the only 100% fully synthetic motor oil in the market. It has antioxidation properties that prevent premature thickening and aging due to thermal stress and guarantees total engine protection. For more information about Motul engine oils, visit www.motul.com.ph. Welcome back to Autofocus, the country's premier automobile news and features electronic magazine. Our special feature is next. A group of racer friends just wanted to have somewhere to park their race cars. That eventually led to the establishment of Enzo Auto Care. Check out their story and what this specialist auto care shop offers on this special feature. The branch started out 2008 pa. Prior to that, we are doing cars talaga. Pero we, we do more of race cars talaga. So we, we used to race cars. And then uh, we started out racing cars eh. And then um, parang one, of, one time, kami ng mga friends ko, wala kami yung parking. So we decided to put up a shop to, to have our cars na may paparadahan. And then eventually, uh, our business, biglang naging, ano na siya, naging, yung, from hobby, naging business na. So that's when we started shifting from racing to painting cars, modifying cars, and then now we are detailing cars. Naman. What we offer is uh, more of a paint job. Also, we offer uh, detailing services, ceramic coating services. We also cater accessories also for cars. Also, a little bit of buying and selling cars also. So basically, that's what we, that's the shop offers. Actually, we don't look at the high end and the low end of the cars, no? especially for ceramic. We, we offer the same prices for the sizes of the car. So we offer uh, small sizes, medium, large, XL, and double XL. So the um, price range is between uh, 30000 to 22000 Well, I don't want to brag, no? Pero one thing that uh, separates us probably because hands-on kami. Uh, we ourselves, uh, as owners, we, we also do what our staff do. So we also give our warranties because we know that kami mismo yung gumawa. I mean, the owners, even our staff. So as I said earlier, at times, inuulit namin yung ginagawa ng tao namin. We treat them as if we own it. So that's, uh, that's how I think I separate our shop from the others. 
for this car, uh, we, we detailed the car first. No? Uh, the state of the car before was really um, sobrang, ano siya, yung sobrang dumi. Also with the swell marks, hindi siya shaded yung parking niya. So what we did with the car first, we detailed the car and then re we replaced the sticker. Things nga pala kay Coil Exclusive for giving us uh, a new sticker for the Camaro. And then after detailing the car, we put ceramic coating. It's a black fire ceramic coating by Enzo Auto Care. For this area, there's a lot of uh, swirl marks on this area. Also, you would notice the, uh, the badges. So there are some uh, really dirts in there. So we cleaned all of them. We Also for the rims, uh, it's already cleaned now compared to the pure acid rain. So the state of the car right now is perfect na because we already detailed it. At the same time, we had uh, the ceramic coating on it. So as you could see, also the stick at the back. So everything is clean already. Basically, you'll be having bird droppings, you'll be having uh, acid rains. So there's no protection for it. Uh, whereas right now, what we did with the car, we put a ceramic coating in a way, medyo meron siyang extra layer of protection for the car. So like for this car, kahit na ipark siya sa under the trees or under the heat of the sun, medyo protected na siya because of the, the ceramic coating. Parang nagkaroon siya ng extra top coat. Yun. And this is good for at least three to five years. No? So, sa shop namin, what we offer, we give one year full warranty for the whole year. So, you bring back the car every quarter sa amin so we could apply and you know, reset the, the, the ceramic. I'm inviting everyone uh, for those uh, car enthusiasts, especially those um, mga OC na clients natin na medyo ma mahilig magpadit sa kotse. So, uh, you could visit us for free quotation. Uh, our branch is here, is located in uh, Meralco Avenue inside Park and Cell. This is one of our branches. So, we also have another branch, uh, same in Meralco Avenue sa Metro Walk naman. So, we cater paint, uh, accessories, this one detailing and ceramic coating. So, I hope to see you guys here and thank you. If you like to get your dream car back to being shiny and new, having a change of color or an upgrade in finish, check out Enzo Auto Care. Ambition. It's not a destination, nor a finish line. It's what you keep racing towards to push the extremes, to race, race, race. That's when you find the limit. That's our ambition, so you too can race yours. Welcome back. We have more cars for you to know and appreciate as we have our second car review this week. In this car review, we take a look at another China brand compact SUV making it a buyer's market for Filipinos looking for affordable family vehicle, the GAC GS4 1.5T GDI. While some Chinese automakers like to cloak their products in repute borrowed from global legacy brands, JAC Motor is forthright about the origins, design, technology of the vehicles it manufactures and distributes. 
One such project is the all-new GAC GS4 1.5T GDI, another one of the compact SUVs from China in the local market, already awash in models from more established brands from Japan, South Korea, Europe, and the US even. At 4,545mm long, 1,856mm wide, and 1,668mm tall, and with a 2,680mm long wheelbase, the GAC GS4 sits quite well in the compact SUV segment along with the likes of the Geely s -Cara. But with an SRP of 1.098 million pesos, the GS4 competes price-wise in the subcompact SUV segment along with the likes of the Geely Coolray. The second-generation GS4 is taller and wider than its predecessor. It is also a lot more muscular and attractive with a bolder front grille and edgier-looking LED headlamps with daylight running lights. The floating roof design makes for a distinctive profile that, if you look close enough, outlines a shark. The rear looks a lot sleeker too, with a distinctive LED tail light and turn signals, metal chrome accents on the tailgates, rear fog lights, and high-mounted LED brake light. The new GS4 also comes with power-adjustable side mirrors, shark fin antenna, panoramic sunroof, and 17-inch aluminum alloy wheels. Getting into the GS4 is quite easy and secure using what GAC calls the Passive Entry Passive Start System. That is just another term for a smart key system that enables one to unlock doors or start the engine without physically using the key or key fob. The GS4 in theory exudes a premium vibe with a black and tan seat leather upholstery that match the side panel trim and the dash replete with soft surfaces. The well-bolstered front seats offer a lot of comfort, with the driver able to manually adjust his seat six ways and four ways for the passenger. The rear seats also offer good comfort with lots of leg and headroom as well as three separate adjustable headrests. The reclinable rear seat also splits and folds 60-40. It also comes with a fold-down center armrest and cup holders. Second row passengers also benefit from the rear vents for automatic air conditioning that comes with PM1 level filtration system. The dash looks and feels premium even with analog dials and 3.5-inch instrument panel display. There's an 8-inch LCD touchscreen display for the infotainment system which comes with Bluetooth, Apple CarPlay, USB port, AM, FM radio, and 6 speakers. The leather-trimmed steering wheel comes with controls for audio, hands-free phone system, and cruise control. There are also controls for the infotainment system easily within reach on the center console. Driving the GAC GS4 can be described as smooth and effortless. It is powered by a third-generation Euro 5-compliant 1.5-liter turbocharged engine developed by GEC Motor itself, but made it to a 6-speed automatic gearbox supplied by Aizen of Japan. The engine produces 166 horsepower at 5,000 revolutions per minute, 270 Nm of torque, between 1,700 to 4,000 RPM. The powertrain comes with three driving modes, economic, manual, and sport. GAC Motor says the turbocharger the GS4 engine uses Bosch's second-generation high-pressure system, providing faster response and earlier peak torque. Turbo lag is hardly felt and there is always adequate power and torque for safe overtaking. Some may find the GS4 electric power steering light, which for some can be a good thing, especially in stop-and-go traffic and narrow seats. The suspension uses independent McPherson struts in front and independent multi-link beams in the rear. The brake system uses discs on all four wheels, ventilated in front and solid in the rear. Parking is made easy and effortless with parking sensors and rear-view camera. Added to comfort and confidence in driving the GS4 are a slew of driver assist and safety features. These include anti-lock brake system with electronic brake force distribution, hydraulic brake assist, electronic stability program, hill start hold control, hill descent control, and electronic parking brake with auto hold. The electronic stability program is particularly helpful in providing better stability at high speeds by correcting oversteering at sudden cornering or lane changes. Also added for safety and security are dual front airbags, front side airbag, seat belts with pretensioner and force limiter in the front row seats, three point seat belts for second row passengers. Isofix Child Safety Seat Anchor, Second Row Child Safety Door Lock, Tire Pressure Monitoring System, and Engine Immobilizer with Anti-Theft Alarm. GAC Motor certainly has reason to be forthright about the origins of the GS4. In price and features, it should be worth a look and a test drive when deciding on compact SUV options. Know more about your car and how to take care of it here on Autopedia. Hi, this is Sydney, and today we'll talk about shock absorbers.
So this is your vehicle shock absorber. As the name implies, it absorbs the shock of the bad roads that we have here in the Philippines. Now, old timers will ask you and then, ano ba yung shock mo? Fluid or gas? Wala nang fluid shock ngayon. They're all gas shocks. But here's the thing. Inside here is both gas and fluid. It's called gas shock because up here there is pressurized nitrogen gas here, but the shock absorption is still done by oil. It's still a fluid. It's just that the old old shocks don't have any pressurized gas and it's just fluid. So now it's both gas and fluid. All shocks right now are like that. As you can imagine, this thing goes up and down to absorb the shock. This is actually called a McPherson strut. After named after the guy who invented it. So what that simply means is that there is a basso here where the spring sits. This bolts on to the axle and the hub, and this bolts to the chassis. So the big question is, how do you know if sira na yung shocks mo? The easiest, fastest, and most sure way to find out, you have to take the shock out of the car to be able to tell if it's busted or not. So here we have two shocks. One is new, one is old. This one is busted and I'll show you why. As you can see, it don't go up no more. Effectively, this thing is not absorbing any shock at all. And we compare it to a new shock. As you can see, it has to go up on its own and it has to go up pretty fast. If it doesn't go up this fast, it's also busted. Or dead or dying. New, old, dead. Alive. You may have heard the uh, old school advice also. You make kalog kalog the car to see if the shocks are okay. That is also not true. And I'll show you why. We have several cars here to demonstrate. The old school wisdom is if it does that, that the shock is okay. No, not necessarily. Because what you're doing is just pushing down on the spring and it just goes up. What makes the shock goes up is actually the spring. Then we have here another car. It doesn't go up or down. So what does that mean? The shock is busted? No, it's not. BMs are really like that. That's why the handling is good. Uh, here, we have a Fortuner. It bounces a lot more than the Ford Explorer. But is the shock dead? No, it's not. It's just really like that. <laughs> So that method doesn't really work. You cannot be certain if your suspension is good or bad just by doing the bounce test, no. Because every car behaves differently when you bounce it. So the only real way to know if your shock is good or bad is to have it taken out and then do the press test, what I just did. Ano magandang bilhin na shock? You can always, always buy OEM. You can go to the casa, buy whatever that they're selling, and then call it a day. It is, after all, the same spec as what you have. If you're looking for something cheaper, get one of these, KYB XLG. This is pretty much the same spec as the original shock, but of course at a cheaper price. And chances are, if you have a Japanese car, KYB has an application for it. So this is a front shock. This is a rear shock. This, I believe, is for a Honda Jazz. This, I believe, is for a Lancer. If you want to step up from something better, KYB also has this called a new SR Special. It looks exactly the same as the shock that's going to be taken out. The big difference is what's inside here. This one will actually give a better ride than what you have because, like I said, it's a shock absorber. It's better at absorbing the shock. And there are things that make it slightly better. A bigger and fatter shaft than the original one. The piston inside here is also better than the valving is also slightly different. And this one is built to take lowering springs if your ride is lowered. Because if you put lowering springs on a OEM shock, chances are in less than a year, your shock ain't gonna work no more as well. So might as well get a set of these. And for German cars, there's only one go-to brand. It's Bilstein, that's it. <laughs> So there, hopefully, you have now a better understanding of what your vehicle shock absorber does and how to spot if it's busted. That's our feature in Autopedia this week. Taking care of your ride has been made easier. And that's Autofocus this week. 
We hope you have found this edition of your Electronic Automobile Magazine. Informative as well as entertaining. Check us out on our Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram accounts. On behalf of my dad, Butch Gamboa, this has been your host, Ray Louis Gamboa. Please stay safe and healthy.